Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is August 20th and I'm going to show you how to identify powdery mildew, other mildews on your zucchini and squash leaves and how to treat them effectively using hydrogen peroxide. First thing you want to do is know what you're looking for. So here are my, well actually two of my zucchini and squash plants and looking at the leaves, not so bad. Small white dot. Maybe that's something to worry about, maybe it's not. And you're kind of looking for like this cotton-like um, growth on your plant sometimes. It does look like baby powder sprinkled on it. And then you see a couple of dots there. And you keep inspecting and dot right there. That doesn't look so bad. But now we come over here and you can see the pattern on the leaves. That's powdery mildew or some sort of mildew in that family. They're all treated the same. It comes on the undersides of your leaves too. So when we spray, we're going to spray the tops and the bottom. And we keep inspecting. And we can see it all throughout the plant upon closer inspection. Now coming over to the larger plant, I want to show you this is a different, this is a dark green zucchini. And the one I just uh, left was a cocazelle. Um, I believe it's a squash, but they're all in the same family. The leaf patterns are different. So when you look at this leaf, you can see this pattern on there. That is perfectly normal. That is part of the leaf. So as your plants are developing, check out the leaves, learn what they look like. So I'll link to the video. Well, one, I'm going to have to take that zucchini out before I spray. I'm going to make zucchini parm with that. And I'll link the video that showed you how I buried the stem to grow more roots and why that white powder is on there. That's how I treat vine borers and uh, squash bugs. So as we inspect this plant, again, we're looking for the white dots. See a little white dot right there. One right there. A couple more there. And as soon as you see it in some places, it's on your plant. So all these leaves are going to be sprayed. You can see the pattern on there. And as we come down further, you can see it's really down there. So they both have mildew on them. Some more there. Probably if we look on the undersides, we can see some more. So we've identified that the squash and zucchini plants both have the powdery mildew. We know what to look for. Now, I'm going to spray them with hydrogen peroxide. I'm using 12 tablespoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide in a gallon of water. I recommend you test spray. I've been test spraying. I worked my spray concentrations up from 6 tablespoons per gallon to 10 tablespoons and I feel comfortable with 12 tablespoons per gallon. But testing any spray, even if you've been watching me for a while, is really on you. So you could start with 8 tablespoons, 10 tablespoons per gallon. Spray a couple of leaves, wait 48 hours, look for damage. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to treat these with the 12 tablespoons per gallon. And again, it's 3% hydrogen peroxide that I got at the grocery store. We're going to spray the top of the leaves and the bottom of the leaves. All right, let me make up the spray and I'll talk about how you want to take care of this problem. So the first thing you want to do is to remove the leaves that are most infected or have died. Don't remove more than a quarter of the leaves. They will actually grow new leaves and actually pruning them back helps them a little bit. But only take off about a quarter of the leaves. I removed the most damaged leaves and the leaves that had the most powdery mildew on there. And again, I just want to show you what it looks like because identifying, identifying the problem is really important. And you can see it on there and on the backs of the leaves. All right, let's get to spraying. I'm going to show you the whole process so you get an understanding on how to do it. And I'm going to recommend spraying this day one, spraying it again on day two, and spraying it again on day three. I have found that the hydrogen peroxide doesn't damage the zucchini leaves. You want to spray in the morning or spray in the evening. Don't spray in direct sunlight. Harvest any of your squash or zucchini before you start putting down any sprays. And again, we're going to do this spray day one, day two, and day three. And I was recommending skip a day, you know, spray day one, skip day two, spray day, yeah, spray day three, skip day four, spray day five. You could do that, but I found with the different fungi, and because hydrogen peroxide really does its thing and it's gone within 24 hours, the best thing to do 
is to spray on consecutive days. So we're going to really soak in the leaves on the tops first. Every leaf, make sure we just completely wet it down and contact the surface. If you see powdery mildew, it also means it's in other places. And then sometimes you can rotate your vines over and you can just soak them down the undersides by rotating the plant around. And then you would rotate it the other way. And spray it down. You want to get all the stems, get around the plant too. And it's really worth taking the time to spray every leaf. If you think you got it all, that's great. If not, lift them up. I just got home from work, and this is what I usually do. I inspect my garden, take care of any problems, and I pick something for dinner. And we would do this for three days. After three days, and be careful not to break the plants, I broke that branch, that's alright, just leave it there. The leaves will all turn and go towards the sun. After three days, inspect it, see how it looks. If it looks good to you, you could go ahead and put down your preventative spray. Let me explain what I mean. Baking soda, wettable sulfur, serenade, you put it on the leaves, it makes it harder for the diseases to establish. Hydrogen peroxide actually kills the fungus on there. So once you spray this 24 hours, hydrogen peroxide is gone. So right now we're killing off any of the spores, any of the fungi that's on there, and then we're gonna go back to our baking soda spray, sulfur spray. And what I recommend for an outbreak is once you put the baking soda down, or whatever you wanna use, wait seven days, spray the plant again, put down the, the wettable sulfur, or the baking soda. And you can adjust that every seven to 14 days, depending on how bad the diseases are in your area or depending on how much rain you get. But that would be the general, the general plant. All right, let's get to the bigger one. I'll do a portion of this plant, talk about a couple other things. So I cut the leaves off. And when you cut a leaf, you expose pheromones, the odor of the plant basically, how the plant smells. When a plant is damaged, either by cutting or naturally, the bad insects can smell the plant, they will fly there. I'll be doing a video on how, you, how to use peppermint spray, rosemary spray to mask the scents of your plants, and that helps keep some of the bad insects away. But I just want to mention that. So after I spray this, I'm going to put down my peppermint spray or rosemary spray, mask the scents, and then because we took off about a quarter of the leaves, give them a gallon full of any water-soluble fertilizer you use. Something higher in nitrogen would be great. So again, we get in here and we start just soaking down the tops of the leaves. We want to get the undersides. When the plants get bigger like this, it's a little bit harder to move the vine around. So you're going to have to pick up each leaf, spray the top sides, the bottom sides, and make sure you work your way down and get all the plants. You also want to get in and get the stems and just really soak it down. Spray around the area. Hydrogen peroxide will take care of any fungi spores on the ground. I also think it does irritate and kill off the smaller insects. And that's generally how I would take care of this. Alright, let me finish this one up and we'll get to the conclusion. So to recap, harvest any vegetables. Cut back the leaves, only about a quarter of them for any leaves that are damaged or have the most mildew on there. Then you want to spray the tops, the bottoms, the stems, and around the area with the hydrogen peroxide. You want to do this every day for three days. If things look good, go ahead and put down your baking soda spray. And this is how I'm treating my cucumbers, zucchini, and squash for powdery mildews, and different fungal diseases and bacterial diseases. I'm not ready to release the information on the cucumber plants yet. I'll make a video when that's ready to go, 
but 12 tablespoons per gallon of water for your squash and zucchini plants. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com and thanks for watching.